Hi everyone, today I'm going to be printing some grungy botanicals on some greeting cards and on some papers to create different artworks. Here you can see me putting a lovely lot of colours on there, some metallic gold and also some Dervan block printing ink which is a great uh, ink for printing with because it gives you plenty of open time. It is an acrylic ink. Here I'm taking off the excess paint from around the botanical. Just using a tissue at this stage but during the video you will see me taking the ink off with scrap bits of paper too. Just placing the card where I want it over the image of the fern and pressing down quite firmly so that the image transfers onto the greeting card. Just giving it an extra press there to make sure that it's a good image and there we have it. You can see the lovely metallic paint showing through the black which is a really nice effect. This is golden acrylic and the green gold along with the black printing ink. I'm not over mixing it, that way you'll get a couple of variations of colour throughout the artwork. It's a jelly plate that I'm using. This one's about 15 centimetres square. You can get them in a variety of sizes. And the roller I'm just using is just one I picked up from an art shop. Just using scrap paper here to take the excess ink off or the excess acrylic. I do like this one because I've got lots of little bits of grungy paint in between the leaf images. Just using a little bit of paper here, just um, sketchbook paper. It's a nice weight and I love this print. Uh, it's got lots of tone in it, which I really like against the white. Cartridge paper is really good for printing on. This is a little bit of um, nickel azo gold along with the black, again, the black block printing ink and some rose leaves. These print really well. Now you do notice with the leaves, I'm always putting the vein side down or the back of the leaf facing down towards the ink. You get her a better impression that way. Always try and make sure you get the card the right way round, otherwise you might have an image on the back of the card or an upside down image. Giving it a nice firm press. Sometimes it's a bit hard to lift off. It kind of sucks into the plate. But that's a really pretty image, that one. I've already placed just some plain black ink on here. Just the acrylic block printing ink. Using the tissue to remove that excess paint. It is water soluble so it's very easy to wash off the plate. This is a geranium leaf. They do print absolutely beautifully. I do like nasturtiums too but I haven't got any at the moment. Waiting for those to get a little bit bigger in my garden. Gorgeous print on that one. So that's the block printing ink again that you can see. Comes in various colours.
working it well into the plate, giving it a really smooth surface to work on. I'm just using some ferns here. Okay everyone, you get the drift. I'm going to just let you watch the next few. And at the end of the video, I'll show you some close-ups of the project, so hang around for that. I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is the first jelly plate video that I've done. Most of the work on my channel is done in acrylic or in watercolour. So go along and um, have a look at some more of those videos. Hit that subscribe button for me and um, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. I love that image that I've got there and I'll use that probably in a collage. So you can use those scraps of paper that you're using to remove the paint and um, just use them in other artworks. Keep watching because at the end you'll see all these artworks close up and they look really really lovely I can't wait to show you some bronze paint and I will Put some more paint on, take an image and print onto the coloured background.
Here I'm using the actual fern to do a print, just pressing it down quite firmly there. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these lovely little grungy artworks that I've produced today and hopefully you'll have a go yourself. Leave some comments if you like and definitely subscribe to see more of my videos. Again, thanks for watching and bye for now.